What's up YouTube, it's Anthony from CompSci Studio and welcome back to your 31st Java programming tutorial. So a ways back now, I think it was around our 20th tutorial or something, we learned about arrays. And in order to um, iterate through our array, we needed to make a for loop and that was kind of long and bulky so Java decided to make a better way of doing it and that's called the enhanced for loop. Now the enhanced for loop is a great way of iterating through your data and yeah, so I'm going to show you guys that today. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to, well, I'll tell you guys what the program's about first. Um, basically, we're going to have an array with a bunch of numbers in it. And we're going to iterate through that array. And while we're iterating through, we're going to be adding every single value to a variable called total. And then we're going to print out the total at the end, the total uh, sum of that array. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make our integer array. So int, uh, let's just call it numbers, put down our square brackets. And I don't think I taught you guys about this, but you could actually add values right off the bat into your array by doing this. Put down two curly braces, and then inside your curly braces, you could put all the values you want. So if I wanted 123, and then you separate it by a comma, and then 34, comma, 56, a whole bunch of random numbers. And then just end your curly braces with a semicolon. And I'm just going to format my code there. Just hit Alt Shift F to format your code. Um, and so, yeah, now you've, uh, you've, right off the bat, you added in how many numbers is that? Six numbers into your array. And uh, yeah, and then we're just going to make a variable called total int. There we go. Int total. And you have to initialize this in Java or else you're going to get an error. So just initialize it, set it equal to zero. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our enhanced for loop. So it's the exact same thing. You just use the keyword for and put down your brackets. Now, instead of going int i is equal to zero, all you have to do is you're going to make, you're going to put down int and then you could name this whatever you want. I'm just going to name it i for simplicity. And then you put down a colon. Now, not a semicolon. It's just a regular colon. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put down the name of your array that you have up here. So mine would be numbers. And you don't have to worry about uh, the square brackets or anything. Just put down numbers. Um, so I, I don't really know how to explain why you use the colon. I just think of it, it basically separates your variable here from the array. That's how I think of it. And then all you have to do is end this with a curly brace. So it's a lot shorter than using a huge array. Um, so yeah, Java made it easier for us. Next thing we're going to want to do is instead of referencing our um, our array values from the numbers array, we're going to be referencing it from this temporary uh, variable that we have here. So basically what it does every time it goes through the loop, it sets whatever value it's at in the array to this um, variable here. So to do this, all we have to do is we go total plus equals i. And there you go. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to simply print out our variable total at the end of our program. So save that and let's just run it. And as you can see, we get 348. So this for loop, it does the exact same as a normal for loop. It's just a lot shorter code. Um, it iterates through the size of the array and every time it goes through once, it adds on to the total. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. Just uh, message me or uh, write a comment in the in the comment box below, and yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.